this is a new vaccine. It, it's been fully developed in the last six months. Uh, so as a result, we don't have millions of doses given to know how safe it is. It has been tested on several thousand individuals over last summer and it appears to be a safe vaccine. And also in experts that deal with vaccine manufacturing, the process and the type of vaccine it is, it, the anticipation is it will be a safe vaccine. However, we'll really have to wait until millions of individuals have gotten this vaccine to be able to see if there are some minor side effects that people get. Now, some people worry about getting more serious side effects, such as may have happened back in 1976 when the last time we had an influenza that was related to a swine influenza uh, occurred. Uh, as some may remember, there was an outbreak on a, a military base in the United States of uh, swine flu, and a new vaccine was relatively rapidly put together and given to, I think it was over 40 million people. Some individuals developed a rare a uh, peripheral nerve problem called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which could cause some paralysis, which in its most severe form could be life-threatening, but usually was a, you know, a, a self-limited disease that got better. It's still unclear to this day if this vaccine was actually associated with this uh, disorder or not. But there is a possibility that a very, very, very small number of people got this uh, disorder, Guillain-Barre, as a result of the vaccine. So we were obviously, uh, you know, concerned about any new vaccine. And as I said earlier, we, we just won't know until millions and millions of individuals get it. Now, what we should remember, though, is that although H1N1 influenza appears to be a mild illness in the majority of individuals that get it, there are some rare individuals who get serious, life-threatening, if not fatal complications from it. So like any decision that we make in life. We've got to weigh the balance uh, of the risks. Fortunately, the risk of getting serious illness from H1N1 virus is low, but it's still not zero.